Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with GoodyReader.com and today we're going to take a look at the Apple Newsstand. This is the application found in Apple iOS 5 which just came out yesterday and we're going to take a look at magazines, newspapers, how you purchase content and how the whole system works. So first thing you want to do is open the Newsstand and you can see we have like a number of well first just the design of it it's unlike the Apple iBooks app it kind of superimposes itself over your apps and everything's kind of grayed out except for the newsstand app there so you see we have like a few things here I purchased an issue here popular science and this is the October issue it Roughly, it's like 300 megs for like a really solid magazine issue. And it was just like a few dollars. So, instructions on how to use the app. You browse stories by scrolling. You can read up and down by doing that. So, it's like the cover art. So, Kind of a cool way to do magazines where you kind of scroll up the text and read it like that once you're done. So very kind of cool. So this is the Popular Science app. I'm just going to press the close button to exit it. Here's an issue of the New York Times. And this is just an example of like a single issue uh, newspaper. Often with these you can buy them per single issue. You could also take out a subscription and save some money. You can... It doesn't look like you pinch and zoom but you can scroll between like the stories, go to the dedicated sections. So go to like a like the full sort of standalone article. Keeps prompting you to sign up for access. And let's take a look at the store. There's a store button here. Basically just opens up like a different part part of like the store and it just features news content here so let's uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see a lot of issues are f like the apps are free and then you more or less like have to pay for the content so they have all sorts of things here like the guardian ipad edition install the app. I'm just going to enter my password. Okay. You can see it says waiting. One of the cool things about uh, the Apple Newsstand is that it will automatically down the, download the latest issues in the background. So even if you're not like using the app and you, and you take out like a subscription, one of the, the neat things about the app is just in the background it'll automatically download the newest issues. Uh, just keep in mind that magazines are often like three or four hundred megs. So you want to make sure that you have enough room on your device. So here's the Guardian. Newsstand, all these kind of just like feel like standalone applications. You know, uh, in the past when you had Wired or you had the Guardian and you had uh, different things, they were standalone applications. And so they were cluttering your home screen. Now it sort of seems like all these newspaper and magazines are still standalone applications, but rather than being all over your iPad, you know, one on page two, two on page three, one on page four, it sets them all up in a, a very common area, which is the Apple newsstand. So, issue downloaded. So, 
So here we here's the guardian. So all these apps look, you know, different, right? The way that you navigate, the way that they're laid out, uh, they're all pretty personalized. I'm a pretty big fan of Apple Newsstand so far. Uh, same with iBooks, you know, it seems like it's my go-to app. Uh, there's not a ton of content on it yet, but it just was pretty well just released yesterday, so I'm not expecting wonders for launch. Uh, there is a lot of things here. So, one has to wonder with the new stand how services like Zinio and things like that will have to deal with it because you know you tap on their app and you can buy a ton of different subscriptions through there. Uh, are people going to continue on using Zinio and you know amalgamators and things like that, or are they going to switch to this, which lets you browse everything in one place? You don't have to do business with one. Com well, you do business with Apple, but pretty well you have like a lot of freedom to look at plenty of different apps. See the daily, and let's just take a look at some of the other stores here. So, Motor Trend Magazine, Outside Living. So this is just sort of like what's hot. We can check out on what's on the top charts. And it just goes to apps, basically. So yeah, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of stuff here. But I'm pretty impressed with just being able to have it all in one place and being able to shop with it just through like the app itself it makes things a little bit more convenient so this has just been like an overview of the new Apple iOS 5 update and this is the Apple news stand so again it's easy to purchase things single issues usually a few dollars subscriptions depending on your duration a whole lot more but at least you can kind of check out what the content looks like before you really commit most of it all offers free previews and such so for goodyreader.com my name is marcus everybody take care